Grade 4 Math, number 102, Problem Solving Shape Patterns. If you saw this decoration as a wall border, would you know what color comes next? Can you tell the pattern that's happening here? Green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, green, blue, right? That's what should go here, is the blue one, right? Let's put them in. That's the one that was missing. See? Not perfect, but close. Okay. All right. How about here? Can you tell what's happening in these patterns? We've got one square. Then we have, hmm, two squares. Now we have four squares. What would go here? What's happening to the pattern? Do you notice that it's doubling? One times two is two. Two times two is four. 4 times 2 would be, we'd put in 8 of them, wouldn't we? That's what's missing. Should be 8 squares. How about here? Can you see what these shapes are doing? What shape should go here? We have to look at them to tell. This one's got 3 sides. This one's got one, two, three, four, five sides, and this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. Well, if this one's got three sides, and this one's got five sides, and this one's got six sides, guess what goes there? Did you figure it out? Something with four sides, right? A rectangle or a square, or a rhombus or a parallelogram, anything that would have four sides, right? Okay, what if Emma was making a quilt? And she ran out of fabric, and she needed to go buy fabric. What color fabric does she need to buy? What colors are supposed to go in these two squares? Can you tell? What comes after orange? What color square is supposed to come after the orange one? We've got pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, yellow, pink, orange, hmm, yellow. If you said yellow, you were right. That's what should be in this square. And then what should come next? Did you figure it out? What comes after the yellow? Should be a pink one. If you said pink one, you got it right. So we use the ones before it to help us figure out what comes next. We use the pattern. See? How about here? What shape should come next? We've got this one, then 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 this one. What comes next? Do you know? If you said one of these little ovals, you're right. Because they're always coming behind the big oval, aren't they? Then it would be a big rectangle like that, and then it would be another little oval, right? So this is the one that comes next. See? Can you look at this and tell how many squares are missing? How many squares are missing from the inside of this? Can you figure it out by looking at the lines? Can you figure out the pattern? Well, if you said that there's supposed to be a square here, you're right, and there's supposed to be another square here, and there's supposed to be another one here and another one here. So there was four squares missing, weren't there? We could tell by the way this pattern was laid out that there should have been four squares in there. We used the pattern to help us. Okay, can you find a line of symmetry on our little bug? Can we draw him a line this way and have a perfect line of symmetry right down the middle? Actually, we could, couldn't we? Because this half could fold over on this half and he'd have half a circle and a full circle, wouldn't he? Do you see another line of symmetry for the little bug? We could cut a line this way, couldn't we? So there's two lines of symmetry on that little bug. We can use the pattern of the circles to help us figure out where the line of symmetry is. See that? So, when you're trying to figure out which shape comes next, look at the pattern. Look at the ones before it and try to figure out what the pattern is. 
and what's happening, and it'll help you figure out what comes next. We're going to talk about angles next. I know we've talked about them before, but we're going to really talk about angles now. Aren't you excited? I'll see you there. Bye.